So it's no secret that everybody wants a big butt, a nice juicy plump butt. Um, in our society lately, there's so much emphasis on the ass. I don't understand, but I'm here to give the people what they want, you know? So today we're gonna talk about my five favorite glute exercises that don't include squatting. Because for some people, they're afraid of doing squatting because they don't want to injure themselves or they're just afraid of doing it incorrectly. And then for others, myself included, they have mobility issues that prevent them from doing squat. So today, we're diving into my five favorite glute exercises that don't include squatting. So let's jump right in. So leading off with the first exercise, we gotta go with deadlift, one of the king other compound lifts. Um, this is great for hitting your glutes, obviously. Um, a lot of people talk about you know the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back, um, even the quads and the deadlift. Uh, but uh, the glute is one of the main primary muscle groups in this exercise, and I think a lot of people actually forget about this muscle in deadlift because they're not locking out enough at the top of the movement. If you're really locking out and you're really squeezing your glutes together, you'll feel it a lot more than if you were just kind of going through the motions a little bit more. Uh, this often happens when people have a little bit too much weight on the bar and they're just kind of ripping through it. So I'd really recommend you just drop the weight down a little bit and go for those higher quality reps to really hit those glutes harder. All right, so next up we got the hip abduction machine with the classic glute squat variation that you see people doing all the time. Um, this is nothing new, but the tip that I have for people on this one is to not really think of this as a squat. So don't think of yourself rising and falling into this as your knees go outward. Really focus on keeping your hips relatively in the same kind of position, but just focus on really opening your hips up by driving your knees outward into the pads. Um, driving your knees out will really activate those glute muscle fibers um, and it avoids you know, involving more of your quads and your hip abductors, um, which is kind of what we're trying to avoid in this movement. So barbell hip thrusts are next on the list and these are another classic glute exercise. You see people doing this all the time. Um, but main thing that I would recommend looking for on this one is to keep your toes pointed out and your feet relatively wider apart because this will really allow you to open your hips up to really activate those glutes. Also not using so much weight that you feel like you are using your lower back muscles can also help really just isolate your glutes in this movement. So cable kickbacks are more isolatory and one thing that I recommend on this one is to try and get your torso as horizontal as possible. Doing this will place more direct stress on the glute itself and I feel like it really allows you to kind of focus on the muscle contraction a little bit more as opposed to having to balance yourself. Um, leaning forward with the, uh, the opposite shoulder onto the machine really allows you to just stabilize yourself to activate the glute more effectively. All right, so lastly, we got a step up to a curtsy lunge. Um, and these are two separate exercises. You don't have to do the step up. Uh, I just like to involve a little bit of quads. Um, but this is a great exercise because it doesn't require too much concentration. It's a good burnout. Um, and with the curtsy lunge, the one thing that I would say to look for is your foot placement on the leg that is going backward. Um, and try not to place it too far behind yourself. So I like to go with like a 45 degree angle with the thigh. Um, so kind of finding that sweet spot where the foot placement is, is kind of key um, for each individual person. Kind of feel out where you are, because everyone's body is different. You know, the hip mobility is different for everybody. Um, but that's just what I found worked the best for me. Um, so give that a try. I usually like to go kind of higher reps, 20 to 25 rep range, to really just burn it out at the end of the workout. All right, so hopefully that helped some of you guys out. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments lately, and I really appreciate all the support. I really like just having a discussion about this stuff with you guys. It's kind of why I started this channel. Um, so if you have any, DM me on Instagram, send me an email, all my stuff is below. Um, do the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, connect with me on LinkedIn, you know, get that 500 plus connections. Um, <laughs> anyway, appreciate all the love guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.